So today I'm having a look at the MSI Z77M Power BIOS. So on the top you have CPU temperature, mainboard system temperature, time, date, bias version, and here you have uh, CPU, RAM, information, CPU frequency, RAM frequency, then here you have boot device priority and you c these are represented as icons, all your boot devices and you can uh, grab these with your mouse and drag them around. Also at the top here you can change the language and you see the uh, camera icon with F12, you can hit F12 and you can select a USB key if you've got a USB key in you can save a screenshot of the BIOS to the USB key. Mainboard settings, so you've got system status, you get time, sterility ports, and it shows the devices and some system information. You also got a help section. <coughs> Advanced shows stuff like uh, ACPI settings, integrated peripherals, integrated graphics, Intel Rapid Start, USB configuration, hardware monitor. Also you have uh, fan control which is pretty good so basically I've got fans, three are my two front fans, I've got them set at 60%, I'm actually have been meaning to put them up to 70% so I'll just do that. And then fan four is the roof so that's the exhaust and I've got that set at 60%, uh, 50% because I want the roof exhaust fans to be going slower than the front so that that will help create a positive air pressure in the case. So you've got CPU smart fan target and then you can do smart control for the fans or you can just do uh, auto and you can do a fixed percentage so you can goes all the way from 50% uh, up to 100% and then it shows you here uh, temperature and stuff and uh, it shows you the fan RPMs so Intel rapid start power management Windows 8 so there's Windows 8 uh, feature which is a, a boot related thing I think but I'm not 100% sure there's uh, MSI fast boot which when I turned it on it basically uh, didn't even let me get into the BIOS, it just skipped right past the post screen right into the Windows loading screen so I wasn't even able to to get into the BIOS by holding down delete so it just skipped all through that stuff and then there's there's MSI fast boot and and just fast boot I'm not sure the difference between the two honestly uh, and then there's wake up event stuff and uh, Realtek PCIe controller and there's boot, you can set your hard drive priority, floppy priority, stuff, you know, standard stuff. You can do full screen logo display. And then overclocking, you've got your CPU uh, base frequency, CPU ratio, <coughs> speed step, turbo boost, enhanced turbo, all the standard stuff, DRAM frequency, XMP, DRAM timing hybrid digital power so you can set uh, vdroop, gpu vdroop, digital compensation and all this stuff and it goes from 12.5 percent all the way up to 100 percent or automatic cpu core voltage cpu io voltage, dram voltage, gpu voltage and all that standard stuff got memory z which is just uh, memory information, CPU specifications, all that sort of stuff, and then ECO. Um, 
Eco is where I found the uh, M power board has uh, CPU <coughs> uh, power phase LEDs that show the uh, CPU power and there's about uh, 12 of them I think plus a couple more and they're very very bright so some people are a bit irritated with them so here normally they're on by default and then in the MSI control center software you can turn them off but then if you put the computer sleep or restart it they'll come back on so that's the default when the LED control is set to auto when it's set to off they're off by default and then in the MSI control center software you can turn them on but then when you restart or put it to sleep and wake up it'll be back off again so you can have it either way you can have it off by default or on by default and either way you can change it in the control center software and then there's EUP 2013 uh, CPU phase control Intel C state package C state limit and then uh, voltage is displayed down here in gray and then there's also a, there is also a basic browser and and mail that you can use which I have tried one time and it took a while to load so I'll maybe try it again at the end of this video and see how that goes live flash is uh, pretty good uh, I had a BIOS MSI uh, support sent me a BIOS it's just a small file about 18 megabytes or so you put it onto a USB stick and then you just put the USB stick in and you can flash the BIOS it only takes about one minute and so you have live update also um, there's live update software in the Windows side and then you can, apparently you can do it here but I've never uh, done it so I don't know how it works also password stuff so you can set a chassis in, intrusion you can do U key I don't know even know what that is and you can do administrator path, uh, password and um, I think that's you know most most of it I this isn't like the most in-depth look ever it's just is just a quick look so I will I'll do this internet browser and we'll see if it works last time it, it was taking a long time to load so I don't know how well it's gonna work but we'll give it a try Okay, this time it says starting browser, please wait. Last time it didn't even say that. Or it did, last time I saw just this screen, but I must have missed the starting browser, please wait. Last time I went from this screen to a black screen, and then the black screen stayed, stayed for a long time, so. So this is the um, browser, and... Um, Basically what happened is uh, it wouldn't start the first time and so I went into Windows. The manual says you have to have the uh, WINKI uh, driver installed on the Windows side, which I did because I installed everything on the disk uh, the first time, but something must not have been right with it. So I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and then it did load up fine. So this looks like a very simple distribution of Linux or something like that. You've got a browser, which is uh, Firefox, I believe. And um, you've got uh, an icon here for Skype. You've got Instant Messenger. And uh, so the WINKI icon brought up this which is uh, you got Skype here settings photo viewer office instant messenger and then web browser
so it looks like it, it crashed. But anyways. So there it is. <clears throat> this is the uh, web browser and uh, mail feature in the uh, files. And I, I don't know if I've even seen the mail icon yet, but uh, I'm sure it is here somewhere. Maybe you just do webmail. I don't know. I, so here under system administrators, there's file manager, HD backup, live update, WINKI installer. So it looks like you might be able to install that driver from here. Instant Messenger is Pigeon. Document Viewer. Spreadsheet. OpenOffice.org. And then there's Skype. So Skype. 2.0 for for Linux. And I imagine there's something called um, uh, Photo Viewer that you can get on the Windows side that comes on the MSI driver disk. So I assume that this is the same sort of thing here. So anyways, there is a look at the um, web browser feature. It's basically a, a copy of Linux with some Linux uh, shareware programs installed. So you can get some basic stuff done if you want. Um, and so that's uh, useful, probably. Alright, so that's it. This has been a look at the uh, MSI Z77M Power BIOS.